So did he ask you? Did who ask me what? Stop playing. Did Aaron ask you to the school dance on Friday? I was hoping Steve might ask me so we all can go together. No, not yet. But here he comes. Where? Right behind you. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Aaron. Uh, you going to the school dance next Friday? Uh, thought it crossed my mind, but I haven't been asked yet. Well, I haven't either, so for school with you, maybe we can roll together? Hi, Steve. Hey, what's up, Jamie? All right, Kelly, I'll talk to you before the school dance, all right? Bye, Jamie. Bye, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Talk to you later, Steve. I'm sorry Steve didn't ask you to the dance. It's OK. Maybe I'll just go by myself. I'm just happy for you. Yo, Jamie, can I talk to you real quick? Sure. All right, so my dad brought me this like three-piece suit for the dance, and I'm thinking maybe I should go. And if you're not going with anybody, you trying to roll with me? Sure. All right, bet. Look, I promise I won't wear the whole three pieces. Maybe just like the jacket and the slacks, all right? like my old school. Why do we need to keep moving every two years? Kelly, how many times do we need to go over this? Your father's work puts us in a position where we have to move when called upon. He is the provider of this family. And you need to come to grips with that. You're not a baby anymore. Okay, Mom. This is the provider, all right. What did you say, young lady? Nothing, Mom. Can I be excused? Fine. Banks of the hanky panky to the bullfrog, jump from bank to bank, say eats, ice, oats, ops. One of those are the hanky Oh, okay. Bye. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, man. What? What's wrong? I think I forgot my phone in the counselor's office. Oh. I'm sure Miss Evans just put in the lost and found. Go check first thing in the morning. Shoot, please let me be there. My mom's gonna kill me. That's my third phone I lost this year. I think Mr. Johnson is gonna fail me this year. Why? I'm not good at anything to do with mathematics. Join the club. You gotta be kidding me, right? You never get lower than a B plus in all your classes. Oh, Vanessa, are you still selling that last year's math book? What the heck is her problem? There's Steve, he's alone. I'm gonna go talk to him. So, my mom got me these tickets to a concert and I was wondering if you'd wanna come with me. Yes. It would be so much fun. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello, Kelly. Hi. Why didn't you say hi? hi? How are you? Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Maybe my mom can call your mom or something. Yeah, we can yeah. talk up a date. Yeah, figure something out. Yeah. yeah, it'd be so much fun.
What's going on? Nothing. Your three o'clock is here, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Bring them in. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, next Friday's fine. We'll make sure all of our kids have the proper documentation to get in. Thank you again. Enjoy your weekend as well. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, we want to thank you for joining us today. I'm Mrs. Evans, Kelly's counselor, and this is Dr. Adams, our school principal. Okay, sorry for the hold up, Mr. Mrs. Wilson. Not a problem, Dr. Adams. So, what's this meeting about? Okay. Let's just get right to the point. We try to uh, de-escalate matters before things get out of hand. What, what do you mean by that, Dr. Adams? We don't like to call parents in just because their child might have done something wrong. We, don't get me wrong, Kelly's a great student, and we want to make sure she stays that way, which is the reason I called you. Are you trying to say there's something wrong with Kelly? <clears throat> well, for the last year and a half, Kelly's been a B plus to an A student. With great spirit, wonderful attitude toward her friends. But for the last three months, she's been standoffish, making grades just to get by. So you tell me. Is there something going on in your home that we should know about? Mr. Wilson, based on the information that you shared with me, it's best that you speak with Pastor Dozier. Let me go get her for you right now. Lord God, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus, with open minds and open heart, Lord Jesus. I lay before you Mr. Wilson right now, Lord God. He comes standing in the need of prayer. Bless him now, God, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Whatever he has done, Lord Jesus, that you've opened up his eyes to convict his heart. We just stand, stop right now and just say thank you, Lord God. Thank you for that conviction. Thank you for that understanding. Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you crying? Nothing, I'll talk to you later. Hey, hmm? what's wrong with my friend? I don't know, maybe she didn't pass a math test or something. I don't know, but uh, what happened to your locker? I don't know. Well, you should report it to security. A lot of strange stuff been going on around here lately. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I should. Well, uh, I'm out, all right? All right, bye. something you're not telling me? No, Mom. It, it's okay. Come on, let's go. Why is it I never hear Dad tell either one of us he loves us? 
Stephanie, that's a conversation we'll have very soon. Yes, ma'am. You were doing 25 in a 15 mile an hour school zone. Can I see your license and registration, please? Eleven twenty eight Lamont Street Northwest. Is that still your address, Miss Wilson? It is. Let's just give them a warning this time and let them go. We're going to let you off with a warning, Miss Wilson. In the future, please be mindful of the speed limit in a school zone. Will do. Thank you, officer. Thank you both. Is everything okay, young lady? <laughs> 